Hello guys, what you're about to watch is one free lesson from my new course about JetStream and Livewire. And this will be about how to create two-step registration form. So on top of this JetStream form, we are coding a step two, which will look something like this. So this will be step two, which will be required for anyone who actually wants to land on the dashboard. So it will be a lesson on middleware, on form filling, on some JetStream structure, some tailwind. So you can use the same patterns and the same logic even without JetStream to create two-step registration form in Laravel. If you want to enroll in full course, the link is on the screen and it will be in the description of this video. But for now, let's see how I implemented registration two-step form. Also some technical detail at the end of this video, my camera froze. So last 30 seconds are without moving my face here on the bottom right. But I decided to not reshoot this video because it doesn't really spoil the content itself. It's just my face is not moving. So no big deal. Okay, the next step is to actually add the fields to the registration form. And there are three fields that we need to add. Profile picture, telephone, address, and instead of location, we'll have city ID, so four fields. And in this lesson, we will take care of the telephone address and city ID. Profile picture is more complicated and we will tackle that in the next lesson. So first we need to add the fields to the database. For that, we do PHP artisan, make migration, add fields to users table. Like this, it generates database migration file. And then we have table string telephone or phone. Let it be nullable. Then we have address, so string address, also nullable. And let's make a city ID foreign key. Table foreign ID, city ID constrained to cities table. And we also make it nullable. An important thing, nullable should come before constrained, not after. Okay, and now we need to add those fields to the user model as fillables. So fillable already exists from gesturing and from default Laravel, we just need to add phone, address, and city ID. Like this, and let's run the migrations. So PHP artisan migrate, success. And now we need to add a second page for the second step of the registration, which will be kind of the same as register, but it will be protected by different middleware. So register is public, but register step two will be protected by auth and it will show up for all the time until someone fills it in. So until you fill the second step of registration, you will be protected from all the other URLs. Let's implement that. First, we implement controller route and view. So PHP artisan make controller, for example, register step to controller. So register step to controller will have two methods, public function create and public function store. Similar to resourceful controller, request, request, something like that. And let's add them to routes. So routes web, we'll have route group. We have new route group for protecting all the URLs which are under auth. So middleware auth. And then inside we have a function, callback function. And here we list all the URLs which will not be public. So route get register step two, for example, let's call it. And then we'll have controller and the method. So register step two controller class and method will be create. Let's make it like this and let's close the sidebar so it will be visible. And then we'll have a post method, so it'll be route post to the same URL, but for store method. Now in create method, we will just return the view. So return view auth register step two, for example. And if we open register blade, public resources views auth register blade, let's do file save as and register step two. We will modify the fields in a minute, but for now let's test it. So let's modify name two and let's launch that URL. It should fail because I haven't registered yet. So for public, it should be forbidden. So it redirects to login correctly. But if I do register, fill in the fields with fake filler, I register and then I can go to register step two, which will show our form for name two. So that's great step. 
Now let's modify that register step to blade and leave only the ones that we need. Route will be different, register step two, and let's have a name here for that post. So name register step two post probably, and then name here will be route register step two, something like that. Or probably this will be more accurate. So dot create and dot post like that. Okay, and what fields do we need? We need phone, address, and city ID, right? So phone, and I will copy and paste and do some magic, some copy pasting here. And then for the city, it's a bit different. So instead of input, we will have a select field drop down with name city ID. And for each of all the cities, and let's just do city all inside of that model as city. And for each. And then option value city ID and text city name like this but actually let's not violate mvc and let's pass that from the controller so cities will be city all and then we we'll pass all the cities like here compact cities and i like to leave one line before the return so for each of the cities like this and we remove all the other fields before registration we don't need already registered and the label will go finish registration finish registration like this and we don't need input for the address and also let's add margin top four for this and for this let's relaunch that page and now we have photo address and city great now we need to style that dropdown as Tailwind styles from the same from inputs. And we copy and paste part of it from the input from here. And other part comes from input blade from the component, which we published. So we copy all of that class long line of Tailwind. Probably we could create some separate component, but let's just leave it like this. Paste. And now it looks good. And if we finish the registration, what do we do? It's posting to store method and we do auth user update the fields and then we turn, we direct to dashboard probably route. Do we have the dashboard in routes web? Name dashboard. Yep. Dashboard. And what are the fields? Phone equals request phone then address and city id and we will take care of the validation now in a minute for now let's just test it out we refresh we fill it in again with fake filler we finish the registration and we are in and let's see the values in the database of those fields so users we have a new user and we have phone address and city present and final step, we need to protect that dashboard from people who haven't registered with both steps. So we have route for that dashboard and we will move that in into this route group. And we don't use sanctum, so we will remove that sanctum. And probably we will add that verified to this. So middleware will be auth and verified. But by default, we don't use email verification. This is verified middleware. So we leave with something like this. So both dashboard and register second step is protected by auth and verified. Now this will be accessible only after registration is done. So we will add another route group. So route group middleware registration completed. Let's call it like this. So that will be the name of our middleware and then callback function and then all the routes for our inner application we will get into here and what is that registration completed we will generate it now 
PHP artisan, make middleware, check registration completed, middleware. I like the suffixes for all the files and that check registration completed middleware will check if auth user field of phone is null so if the phone is null and then also and address is null and ctid address and ctid like this probably let's make it separate lines then we return redirect back redirect to register step two or actually route route name register step two create like this then in the kernel file app http kernel we need to register that middleware so at the bottom there should be let's copy the name so registration completed this will be the name and we will assign that to check register completed middleware class and it's automatically at the top like this and let's try to relaunch our dashboard and it should succeed but if i register as a new user let's try it out registration i complete one step i land on step two and i try to go to dashboard it will redirect me back to register step two and that is exactly what we wanted in this case so until i fill in the phone address and the location i cannot log in fully to the dashboard